Welcome back to K2K YouTube channel. The name is Alex Seba here, and then the video of today will be closing all around the chip of Elo 298N. And in our video, we are going to close all around its part the way they, it uses to control two DC motors, and they will be employing variable resistor, of course, variable potentiometer to control the speed of those two motors and we will learn the way we will, we may use the chip together okay now let's directly jump on the work of today this is the top view of our lo 298n card and this is the bottom view so let us omit the the bottom view and jump directly to the top view and then then the part of it one of the card main component is lo 298 n itself and it is the chip which has 7 built in the Lington transistor for the switching purpose. The second main part is the two output of the chip which is used to control two DC motors where one motor is connected to one side and the second motor is connected to side and it is used to control the direction and the speed of the motor according to the input controls. The main part is the power supply where the card itself is able to control the motor rating to 12 volts and the as the terminal flow each other the first terminal is for plus VCC the third terminal is ground and another time you have to know that the ground of Arduino and the ground of that power supply should be connected together. The third terminal block will be used just to supply 5 volts from Arduino to power the chip, I mean lo 298 n which driving the module. Wow, the last, the fourth and the last main part is the control terminal. The control terminal is made up of those two uh, uh, terminals at the extremities which are used to control the speed of the motor and to enable the motor run and the remaining four terminals are for uh, manipulating the direction of the DC motors okay now jumping around to, to the way of control the speed and direction of DC motor let me try to zoom in a little bit this animation made in Proteus Let's see. Okay. Let me hit run. You see that as I hit run, the motor run in clockwise direction because, of course, the positive is connected to the positive terminal of the motor and the negative supply connected to the negative terminal of the motor. So let me try to stop the animation and reverse the polarity as shown here let me first toggle this switch and change the direction all right we directly find that the motor changed the direction in anti-clockwise direction so nothing you can do to more to change the direction of this motor from one direction to the other but to, to reverse the polarity of the motor so when you are going mm, to change the speed of the motor of course you deal with the pass with the moderation connected to that extremity terminal in control terminals and as you want to change to change the direction of this motor of course you deal with that four terminals it means one n up to N. Now, after finishing the theoretical part about the card ero 298N, let us jump to the practical part. You will find in the right window the, the, the motors running. Of course, the first motor will run for uh, in forward direction, of course, in clockwise direction. For a time which is equal to 5 seconds and stop 
The second motor starts also in the same direction and they stop for 5 seconds. After both motor uh, finish rotating, it will start the same way but in anti-clockwise direction as seen in the window to the right side. Nothing we do but to approach this code to the Arduino. Now you see that you see that we first declare the pin on which the control pin which control of course the direction of the the DC motor and you see that we declare the enable pin of course which will allow the card to control the direction of the DC motor and that enable pin should be controlled by pass with modulation and determine the speed of the motor and the second you see that we, we make our pin mode of course to configure the microcontroller pin as output yeah and then nothing there but to execute in a void loop to execute this uh, this control of course this control function to, to perform the action according to how we set our motor we work uh, alternatively so nothing we do the same thing uh, we do the same thing with controlling the speed by using the potentiometer uh, but adding the potentiometer of course to get the pass with modulation from the analog value of potentiometer you see we declare to potentiometer and then we read their value to we store in a variable called the var of course var1 and var2 and then those value will be of course mapped into pass with moderation and here uh, our program is written in a void loop we didn't use the function and if you want this program you should get it in the in the link under the description below so guys uh, by avoiding to bore you let me stop here i hope that you enjoyed the video please make subscribe and hit like if this video is useful to you thank you for watching